Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through the concept of CSS button. Buttons play a vital role in every web page. And in this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can use CSS to make those buttons more interactive and engaging to the user on a web page. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply. So without any further delay, let's get started with CSS buttons. So before we move on to the programming part, let's understand what CSS buttons are. CSS buttons are clickable elements on a web page that are created using CSS. Buttons are commonly used in website designed to prompt users to take specific actions such as submitting a form or navigating to another page on a website. So to create a button using CSS, we can use a combination of HTML and CSS code. So there are several ways to create a button in HTML, right? We can either use the input attribute, input tag, we, or we can use the button tag as well. So the HTML code defines the structure of the button, while the CSS defines the visual appearance of the button. So let's use the most basic way of creating a button. What I'll do is I'll use the button tag. Fine. Let's say if I'm writing over here, click me, save it. And here you can see this is just the default button we have in HTML. So it looks like a button. It already have hover effect because of the HTML part. Now to style the button using CSS, we can use various properties, right? But We'll discuss those properties in a while. Before that, we are going to create some other types of buttons as well. So there are different types of button as I already mentioned, right? So we'll see which are the types of button. So this is the default button. Let me just change the name over here to default. So if I'm writing over here, default button, fine. So here you can see we have a default button over here. Now we are going to use the a tag or we can say the anchor tag. Now, if I'm writing over here, href, let's say I write over here, hash, fine. Now we'll define a class as button for this button. And I'll just write over here, link button. We can use a link to create a button. So here you can see we have a link button present over here. The next option is we can create a button with the help of button but along with the class attribute so we are going to style them just now so if i write over here button fine save it so here you can see we have a third button so the default button and this button are all both the same i'll show you the difference if i write here input type type is also an attribute and if i write over here button now class i'll also define as button and value let's say i'm writing over here input button fine okay so we have to write here value as input let's say we are writing input over here save it and here you can see we have our four buttons present over here the default button the link button the button and the input button so we can write over here as uh, input type is equal to submit for a submit button so there are basically different types these are the ways we through which we can create a button on a web page now the time is to style these button we have used the class button so if i write over here button now we can use different css properties let's say if i write over here background color is aqua save it and here you can see the background color is aqua for all the three buttons border i'll remove save it now you can see color so the text color let's say if i'm changing to red so here you can see the text color changed padding padding is going to be 15 pixel and 32 pixel let's say for both the but for all the three buttons let's create the buttons of same size so here you can see the buttons are here if i write over here text align at the center so the text will be aligned at the center and if i write here text decoration is none the underline from the link button will be removed. Then I'll have to write here display as inline block. Save it. And then we'll write over here font size as 16 pixels for each button. And here you can see the font size. Now we are left with margin. 
so margin will set to 4 pixel and 2 pixels let's say save it and here you can see let me go back to the default size so this is the default size of our browser here you can see at 100% this is how the buttons look like fine so we can use different properties as well again with these buttons like the hover effect and other properties are also there so for now you can see there there are four buttons we created these three buttons with different types but they all look exactly the same right the link button button and input button they are all the same but here you can see we have used different tags the anchor tag the button tag and the input tag for all the three buttons right so this is how we can use css to manipulate buttons now if i write over here cursor as pointer here you can see the cursor will change on taking over to any, any button to these three buttons because we haven't done anything with the default button till now fine we can change this as well but it's it looks like a good button right a, a fine button not that bad it's looking but these three although they are also not looking that good but here you can see how we can use css to manipulate the style of these buttons right so this is how we can use css to change the style of a button now now that's not it but css can do other tasks as well like we can use box shadow we can create hover effect on any button and a little more tasks right so here what we are going to do is we are going to just remove these buttons from here these three will remove and we'll go with the default button now we'll style this button only save it and here you can see the style for this button is also changed now let's create a decent button first i don't think this looks that good so we'll change the background color to some other color let's say i'm writing over here beach so this is the default button let me increase the size a bit fine so here you can see this is the default button now i'll change the color the font color to some different color let's say if i write here bleach almond so it's not visible my fault so i'll change it to something like black black is fine it will be visible yeah it's visible now we can change the font size font size we can change to 16 pixels and here you can see the button adjusts itself right the padding is already adjusted we can change the padding so if we write here padding as 10 pixels and 20 pixels save it here you can see the size changed now if i write here border radius so let's change the type of button so if i write here 5 pixels save it here you can see there's a slight change at the four corners of this button if i write here 50 pixels here you can see a change it it looks like a pill and if i write here 50 percent it will change to a circle a complete circle here you can see an ellipse basically so here you can see it looks like an ellipse not that good of a button i guess but 5 pixel was fine or we can say 50 pixels was also fine so it looks like a button right now css buttons can also have different styles based on their state such as when the mouse hovers over them or when they are clicked so we can use the hover effect or the active pseudo classes to define these styles so overall css buttons provide a flexible and customizable way to add interactivity and visual appeal to a web page so this is how we can use css to manipulate buttons the next thing we are going to do is we are going to see how we can use shadow effect fine so here you can see we have a button now we'll create another button copy it from here paste it here we'll make certain changes like the class as button and not cutter but button one we'll take two buttons fine so this is the class for the first button and for the second button we are going to write here button button two save it so here you can see we have two buttons present over here now we are going to style them a little to both the buttons so we'll write over here dot button first save it here you can see nothing changed now background color and what we are going to do is we are going to remove the border as none save it so here you can see we have two buttons color we already have and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to remove this uh, we are not removing anything let's say so let's say if i writing here if i'm writing here text align at the center save it the text is already aligned because it's a default button 
now text decoration there is not any but in case if there is any I will remove it fine now display will change display is inline block and here you can see if I remove reduce the size of a browser here you can see both the buttons are present side by side so these are the buttons now what we'll do is we'll use margin fine margin will use as 4 pixels and 2 pixels save it so here you can see the margin is already also applied now cursor will change to pointer on taking over these buttons so here you can see the cursor in black color i have hope it's visible to you guys now the last thing we are going to add some transition so as we discuss the web kit so let's use transition property here transition duration will use we have already created a video dedicated to transition only so i hope you guys must have watched that video save it and yeah now what we'll do is we are going to use shadow effect on these buttons so we have two classes right button and button one for the first button button and button two for the second button so i'll write over here button one this is the first button we'll add some box shadow and we we'll have to use different values like 0 8 pixels 16 pixels we already have the a dedicated video on this topic as well i hope you guys should go through it so if you haven't watched that video yet please go through it guys and it will be easy for you to understand these properties as well now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to write here 0 6 pixel 20 pixels and 0 fine gba and then we'll write over here 0 0 0 and 0 0.19 now save it here you can see the shadow fine over this button there's a shadow on this button now for the second button we are going to copy this from here we are going to paste it here but instead of button one we are going to use the shadow on hover effect what we'll have to do is we'll have to write a colon and just write hover fine now it's done save it take your cursor over this button and here you can see the shadow popping on taking the cursor it makes the web page look more aesthetic to the user right if you don't know about the hover effect just don't worry about it we'll cover it in a moment so here you can see the effect of hover right on hovering over this button it looks like the button is popping out of the screen and there's a shadow behind it which makes it look much better than the previous buttons we have so this is how we can use css to add interactivity to our web so the concept of hover effect is quite easy we can change the property at any hover effect so here you can see we have two buttons let's do this in one button only fine so we'll remove this part from here save it so here you can see we have a button we'll remove this whole thing now what we'll do is we'll write over here dot button one the syntax for hover effect is like this we'll have to use colon after the class name then we have to write here hover and that's it inside these brackets we have to write what we want to change save this program and here you can see the button right it's just a default button now what we'll do is we'll change the background color first thing let's change the background color to black over on it and here you can see the button is changing to black now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to change the font color as well font color let's say we are going to keep allies blue let's see so here you can see it looks nice on hovering over the button we can do certain things let's say if i am writing over here border border if i'm writing here like one pixel solid and uh, let's say black in color fine so here you can see we are not able to see the border as of now but if i change the background color to white and if i do this here you can see but now the text is not visible so we have will have to use a dark text so let's say not black because the color is already black will we have to find some button or some color so let's say if i'm writing over here gray fine save it and here you can see so this is what hover effect can do the button is of this color it's beige in color and 
the font color is black on taking my mouse cursor over this button you can see that font color is changed to gray and the background color is changed to white and the border color is changed to black it looks nice right so similarly we can use other properties with this hover effect like the shadow property we have used previously so this is how we can use uh, css hover effect now apart from that what other things we can do is we can create animated buttons as well so for animated buttons it's the task for you guys and this is how the anim uh, basic animated button actually looks like so hover effect is also an animation this is how you can change it so the disabled property will not work with uh, here css for css what we have to do is we have to write here cursor not allowed take your but uh, mouse over this button and here you can see the cursor changed right now do it over here and change the opacity as well opacity of this button to 0.6 save it and here you can see so we'll remove these properties from here save it here you can see it's changing right a little change but it's still a change so if you use any dark color for this button then it will be easy for you guys to understand if i write here blue save it and here you can see it's a disabled button so for if you are using html you can just write over here uh, disabled okay save it and here you can see it will already disable fine it will be already disabled save it and here you can see we are not able to click on this button we are not able the button is not clickable nothing this is because it's a disabled button so guys this is how we can use css buttons to manipulate a web page and make it look more engaging and attractive to the user so buttons do play a vital role in that so i hope you guys must have got a good idea about css buttons in this tutorial and if you feel that we have missed out on certain topic that we were supposed to cover in this particular video or if you have any doubt related to any of the topics we have covered in this video then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we'll definitely answer them for you so thank you so much for being here guys we'll see you next time with some other video until then keep coding and stay tuned to simply code